Do not buy this. This thing sucks. I feel like I need to do a kind of a public service announcement about this thing, okay? Not only does it, does, it doesn't work, but it's incredibly dangerous. Let's talk about it real quick. Okay, I don't even know what the brand of this thing is. It doesn't have a brand. It just says robotic pool cleaner. There, on here it says ELFO8 Pro. I don't, I can't find a brand. They sell it at Sam's Club for like $400, although I see it like on other websites for $350. Now what it is, is it's basically a Roomba for your pool. We've all seen like the Roomba for your carpet, right? Well, the idea was this thing here is supposed to drive around your pool and clean up uh, the leaves and stuff that go inside this basket. Great idea. It says it has a runtime of about two and a half hours. You charge it up in about four hours. The first time I put it in the pool, it did drive around, but there was hardly anything in the basket, just a couple little remnants. And there was a lot of leaves in the pool. Didn't really do a very good job at all. Then I charged it and I couldn't get it to work again. Now, it doesn't have any buttons on it, right? It only has this port here where you can plug in and charge, okay? And also, it, so there's, it, the way it's supposed to operate is you lift it up and it lights up here. And now it's blinking some something. And it's supposed to light up blue. And then when it lights up blue, you put it in the water and it's water activated and then it automatically works, okay? Yesterday, I couldn't get it to do anything. Today, the, the lights came on, I put it in the pool so that it could drive around. And then it stopped working after about one minute. It didn't clean anything. So yeah, so uh, now it's on fire and I don't know what to do with it. The battery is smoking. You can see that it's burning through the plastic. If it had, so it, you could tell it had a full flare up and it did that underwater while it was in the water. Um, this wheel keeps popping off. There's, it, um, it's, you know, it's theory of operation is great, but um, it doesn't work and it's dangerous. And thank goodness it was outside underwater. If you own one of these, do not charge it or keep it inside your house or the garage. Make sure it is outside somewhere safe because they didn't do a very good job of waterproofing this thing. Clearly water got inside, shorted out the terminals and set it on fire. It doesn't even have a brand name. It's just called Automatic Pool Cleaner. Some Chinese company is making this and selling them. They're gonna have a huge lawsuit with these things. I'm taking this back to Sam's Club for a refund. And I wanna document this because this could have burned my house down or whatever, if I'd have had this in the house. And I don't know what to do with it. I don't know if I should put it back in the water or just let it sit outside um, because it's still continuing to smolder. So I'm gonna set it there if it bursts into flames. So I'm, I'm really bummed out that this thing didn't work. I had high hopes for it. I love this kind of gadgetry and technology. And even though it was like 400 bucks, it doesn't really come with much except for this little charger, which this is where I was charging it outside. So this little charger just plugs into it. And uh, I had it sitting outside by the, on the concrete. And um, apparently it either doesn't have its own battery monitoring system or the batteries are bad. But you know, it shows it covers a thousand square feet, charges in four to six hours, um, goes up to 20 feet underwater runs for like two and a half hours of runtime. Let's see here. I mean, the concept is great. And if it didn't catch on fire, it would probably be all right. But I gotta be honest, it really didn't clean jack shit. I mean, it had this filter in there for fine stuff and that like, that's all it got out of there. And by the way, so here's the pool, you know, it, it left a bunch of tire tracks. Like, look at all the silt, right? See, my pool guy quit on me recently because he doesn't have enough staff. He said he's so short-handed here in Las Vegas. He just doesn't have enough people. And he said he was going to have to drop me as a client because my pool is small and he doesn't make a lot of money. You know, I was paying this dude 150 bucks a, a month to come over here and clean the pool once a week. So you can see that I have silt and we, we need to brush the pool. And it just left a bunch of tire tracks, but it didn't clean anything. So, like, if it drove across this area then why didn't it clean it? It didn't clean anything. It's a piece of shit. Don't buy it. It'll set your house on fire. By the way, there, th there is no company. There's a phone number in the manual that I called and it just was like, 
this number is not in service. They have no number. They have no website. They have no brand. I found uh, a couple. I found a couple of different made-up brands that were using this. So basically, some people have bought a bunch of these, made up their own brand, and then uh, put it on there. And they had like they one I found had a YouTube channel with 20 views on it. One of them had a Facebook thing with no nothing on it. So people have probably bought like you know like a couple a container of these, made up their own brand, probably put a sticker here of their brand. But the thing is, there's no brand, there's no customer service, there's no one you can call, there's no website. There's also, you know, no, um, there's no information about it. There's nothing you can find. There's no troubleshooting. Um, there's nothing. I can't believe Sam's is selling this thing that they would allow this to go through. Big fail, big fail, Sam's. It smells like burnt plastic. I wanna box it up and take it back. I can't because it's busy on fire. Uh, so yeah, this thing's a piece of junk. It'll burn your house down. <laughs> Don't buy it. Uh, I like to do product reviews on things and I like to talk about things that are great. But when you buy a product, especially something as much as $400, uh, you expect it to kind of work. So I suspect that Sam's is gonna lose their minds when they see this. They're gonna probably pull them off the shelves. You won't be able to get one anyway. And uh, good for you because these are gonna hit the secondary market. You're gonna see them cheap. You're gonna see them on eBay. Uh, you're gonna see them in different places. Do not buy it. And I, I believe this is not a one-time instance, by the way. I think that this is gonna be like the, the exploding hoverboards that happened a few years ago. Same situation. You can't, if you're gonna make a lithium ion powered or battery powered thing, but specifically lithium ion that goes in the water it would have to be really well done so that it is uh, waterproof. It would have been better, even though you'd have got a lot of less um, time out of it to use a lead acid or even a nickel metal hydride system and make the unit bigger and heavier because the weight doesn't matter and it would help keep it down at the bottom of the pool rather than using lithium ion. Or even a uh, lithium iron um, phosphate like the other batteries I have. But the straight lithium ion batteries, the ones that they're using in here are very delicate and very prone to this kind of thing. And we've all experienced it with a lot of different things. So for instance, you know, we build these uh, proton pack kits and we were experimenting with putting the lithium ion batteries in there and we were having meltdowns. And the problem is, is that I'll tell you exactly what went wrong. The little charger that they have doesn't have a battery monitoring system on it. And the unit itself obviously doesn't have a battery monitoring system on it. And I guess they expect you to just keep checking on it until the light says it's charged and then unplug it. And I left it in there overnight and I guess that overcharged it and it expanded the batteries and they were hot, putting it into the water, pow. Bad idea, bad design. Um, get these off the market before they burn your people's house down. So public service announcement for me, when this thing stops smoldering, I'm gonna take it back to Sam's, <laughs> get my money back. Uh, Coincidentally, if you live in Las Vegas and you're a pool cleaner, I am hiring. I need a pool cleaner to come over here and clean my gosh darn pool. <laughs> All right, catch you guys later. Okay, quick follow-up. I got a problem. What do I do? The way this thing works is it has an accelerometer in it. How you turn it on is you lift it 30 degrees. You'll notice those activate and they start blinking. Now, they should turn blue. Once they turn blue, you drop it into the water and it's water activated, so it probably has some sort of uh, wetness detection and that turns it on. The problem is, is every single time I activate this thing, it starts smoking. I can smell it. How am I gonna put this in the box and take it back to the store without it catching on fire in the back of the car? You can't open it. You can't take the battery out. Like, how, what? See, every time you activate it, it starts smoldering. Wow, this is a problem. Stay tuned. We'll see what happens. Reviews?